Welcome back to Critical's Corner, unfiltered commentary, not your truth, the real truth. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi folks, welcome back. From the post-millennial, security guard aggressively drags massless man out of New York City, excuse me, New York school board meeting. That is assault, the woman filming said. The guard, assisted by two others, and pushes the man out of the doors into the hallway. Yeah. Pure and simple. And there's some, you're going to see the video later. It's a short video. I mean, look at them. Look at these guys. Shame on you if any of you are police officers. You took an oath, just like the oath I took in the early 2000s when I was a city councilor in upstate New York. You took an oath. You should be thrown off the force. Thrown off the force. And I'm a huge, huge law and order person. Was endorsed by the police department every time I ran for city council. In the video obtained by RLC for Educational Freedom shows a security guard exchanging unheard words with a man who is sitting facing the meeting. The guard then pulls the chair backwards while the man still sitting it, pointing towards the speaker at the front of the room. Now we're going to see the short video. I'm going to let it play right through without interruption, without my comment. And now to make the point of this entire episode is this is why Democrats are going to lose. They're going to get their asses handed to them. The video is only a minute and a few seconds long. Watch this. Oh, they found him. Look at They found him. We're in a marriage pot. Oh, time to... Look at this. Look at this. Look... What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Is this how you treat what our children? What are you doing? Do you put your hands on the Holy children like crap. that, too, sir? Holy crap. Holy crap. That's assault. That is assault. Uh, you oh, my right. God. Is that what they're doing oh to the children? Oh, my God. Doing that to the children, too? Holy shit. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Officer, do something about that. That's, you know what? You just allow your security to do that? What are you doing? What are you doing? Wow. You're on video, brother. And he's laughing. He's laughing. You're laughing. Yeah, fuck you, dude. You're laughing. Talk about the Chinese. Now, not that video by itself. But that mentality is the reason that the Democrats are going to get their asses handed to them. And then the article explains the guard and pulls the chair backwards. You saw that. He tries to left the man who was jacking with the man who was in zip, removes it. And all of a sudden, the three of them are right around this guy. He was sitting in the back, saying and doing nothing. Is this how you treat our children, the woman asks. And the answer is yes. Do you put your hands on children like that? And the answer is yeah. The guard gestures towards the exit as the maskless man attempts to sit down once again because he didn't have his mask on. Now, I have to say this because I'm on parole on YouTube. Do what you think is right for yourself and safety and consult a physician and do what's best for you, whether it be a VAX, a mask, or anything else. Do what you and your physician decide. It's your decision to make. I have to say that because... I'm in YouTube parole until April 12th, I believe, because of a strike I had where I reported on an article from Project Veritas, an undercover video. I have to say that, and I'll probably have to say that in every video until then. It's really asinine, but sorry to put you through it. The guard attempts to tip a man out of the chair, but the man lands on his feet closer to the exit this time than his assault. The guard, who you saw, was assisted by two others and pushes the man out of the doors in the hallway. I wish we had the video of him out in the vestibule. And I do want to say, though, I wish more of the general public that were standing in the back, men and women, went out to the vestibule to help support this man. Now, I know she got it on film. I appreciate that. Woman said, officer, do something about that. And that's the thing. You guys broke your oath. I was a city councilman in the early 2000s in upstate New York. I took an oath as well. And I was supported by local law enforcement in the city I live in Every time I ran, I have great respect for law enforcement, still do. 
I would like to think that the law enforcement in my city wouldn't do that. But those guys, you broke your oath. Apologize or resign, period. Or they should be drummed out. I'm sorry. You just allowed your security to do that. What are you doing? And the lady, of course, after uh, with the police officer talking with the massless man near the exit of the building while the woman filming tells the guard through the glass, you're on video. And he's laughing. He's laughing. You're laughing. Yeah. F you, dude, she said. Corlin Daly Ward, a woman who attended that school board meeting, claimed the man had to seek medical attention. She also explained the massless man was approached by a security guard while a student was in front speaking. The school board, she said, always brings up children who love the school and love the superintendent to speak when there was a hot issue. Parents want to voice concerns over, adding that kids who speak are clearly hand-selected. Well, that's part of the game. Not much you can do about that except for weed through it. But there is a small microcosm of the problem. Arrogance of authority. Authoritarianism run amok. Now they're going to say, well, you used to be elected official in New York. You know what happens. I'll lose my pension. I've got 20 years in. I'll lose my pension. I'm two years shy of having a pension. I'm going to rely on that free medical for the rest of your life, platinum insurance, I might add, in New York, and a very generous pension plan when you can retire in your 50s. All right, that's a lot to lose. But you know what? Some money isn't worth a dollar a ton. If you had not hassled that man, if you had not assaulted him, nothing would have happened to you. I will not comply. That's what the police should be saying. These authoritarian school board members, superintendents, mayors, city councils, governors, state legislatures, they have zero authority unless the ground forces, i.e. local law enforcement, enforces their decrees. They busted into a woman's business during the height of the pandemic who had her door locked, her lights off in her store, and was selling items online very much like QVC does. And then there was banging on the door of her business was the local law enforcement saying she has to shut down, she has to be closed. She says, I am closed. I'm selling things online. Shut it down and we'll arrest you. Gentlemen, ladies of law enforcement, it's too late. Your list of allies grows very small. The entire progressive left hates your guts and wants you out of existence and defunded. Uh, killed in your ashes, uh, have your bodies burned in your ashes, sent into space, for lack of a better term. And then the conservative people, the normal people that were on your side, you're losing them too. Only a fool does something that everybody gets mad about. You have to pick a side, or a side will be picked for you, and it's never the side that you would want to have picked. But now it's slowly waiting down because the midterms are coming. And there'll be a couple isolated school districts here or there, and you'll see these films. But in reality, they're following the science. And the science says that this November, there's midterm elections. <laughs> we'll see. Now, this is not misinformation because I'm on YouTube parole. As usual, with all health concerns, consult your physician and whatever he or she decides to do with you, make a decision based on your personal history, your medical history, and your physician's guidance. I have to say that because this will be misinformation, but it's amazing how the science is changing as we get closer to the midterms. Hmm. Things they make you go, hmm. And this, folks, is the reason why the Democrats are going to get their asses handed to them. And nobody's happier about it than I. Let's hope the Republicans don't drop the ball again like they have for the last five or six times. Until the next time, goodbye and good luck. Mm-hmm.